Spartans, welcome back, and today I do have a couple announcements for you. First off, how do you guys like the banners on the top of the screen? Let me know if I should remake those and change them anyway. If so, tell me how. Number two, I'm doing some awesome farming raids. Look at how much dark is on this map. It is epic. Now, uh, obviously, guys, I'm farming dark elixir and gold right now, and the reason being is that I need to farm my walls, and I need to farm my heroes. However, the one thing I need to farm before all that is my last defense, guys. I've got one last cannon going up, and it's got like a day and a half left. And then, of course, I do have my last archer tower, which has not been started yet. And that'll be the end of an era, guys. It'll be the end of the Town Hall 10 upgrades for defenses. And that's a huge, huge statement I'm really proud of. It's been a long run, guys, and I'm very glad to be here. Now, you may notice I am using golems with my Garch, which is uh, an interesting tactic I changed to just to try out for fun. But, guys, before I commentate and get into this whole raid, let's go ahead and give the real reason we're here. This is a giveaway video, guys, so if you want to win a possibility of getting a $25 gift card, there's going to be, I think it's a total of $375 in this pot, and these guys are giving away. I'm doing a group giveaway with quite a few other YouTubers. Uh, most of them are around my size. Some are a bit bigger, uh, a couple smaller, but just trying to get back to the community as much as possible and having some fun along the way. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Sorry, guys, my voice is a little messed up. I went out drinking last night. It was a rough night, let's just say that. But if you want to win, click that Gleam link in the description below. You guys know what to do. You're pros at it by now. And make sure to follow, subscribe, and like all those guys. They are awesome, and they are definitely some good people. So go help them out and help yourself out. Win some free money, guys. And best of luck, as always. Definitely going to continue to do these as long as you guys enjoy them. So go ahead and comment below. And uh, continue to show support for us. It's always helpful. Look at this raid, though. 48%. Queen is going for it. She's got the 50, and she's going for that loot. Can we get the Town Hall? It looks like if she goes in, it should be an easy kill. Those Teslas may cause some issues, guys. However, I'm not afraid of that mortar. Now, I have stole about 300,000 of each and 4,000 dark. That's a hell of a win, guys. Definitely some awesome, awesome dark elixir there. Now, we have several videos coming out the next few days here. Um, some that I think are going to be very epic. They're not going to be very, uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know how to say it. I guess I'm trying to say, I guess it won't be very popular on YouTube as far as being searched. But they should be very epic as far as, uh, following. Look at this, by the way. The queen's right next to this freaking town hall. And I pause it there and she just walked right by it. And hit the dead inferno. Like, kill the freaking Tesla, please. But nope. Doesn't want to do it today. Rather die. Anyway, 600,000 loot with 4,000 dark elixirs. Six trophies. And, of course, a two-star Garch with the double golem leading the charge. And the reason I added the two golems, guys, is because it actually allows me to attack more often. If, if I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. But I basically put um, the wall breakers in the beginning of each of my barracks. So I have 8 to 12 every time I raid. And then I put, of course, half my barracks on goblins, half my barracks on archers. And then I just make two golems. And whenever the golems do actually build... Look at this, by the way. I have a... I have a Lava Hound in the Clan Castle. Completely useless, guys. Um, but whatever. Pretty funny, though. I don't really care what I get in my Clan Castle. I just don't care. I I'll win either way, whether I have anything or, you know, whatever. I just like dropping it just as a distraction. But anyway, so as I was saying, back to the Golems. The reason I do is because they do build occasionally. So, like, every other raid or so, I will have the Double Golems. And that allows for me to have my troops build even faster on boost. So I don't know if that makes sense to you, but it takes up 60 spots. That would have taken a couple minutes, even on boost for archers and goblins to build. So it's not every raid that I have them, but a lot of raids I do. And it's it's basically whenever I'm waiting for my spells that I actually get stuck with them. But now that I'm farming, I rarely wait for spells, and it's really fun, actually. And yeah, so we're going to continue to move on, guys. As you can see, though, this queen is going to go ham here. My golem's running in to take the hits from the expos and infernos. Unfortunately, they are multi-target, and the queen's going to start getting hit. So to save my queen's life, I help the golem out, and I drop some lightning spells. A huge waste of elixir, of course. I know, guys. I know. But it was impressive to see that much lightning fall, right? And uh, my golem does die here in a second. But before he does, he burns out that expo, which is awesome. That one expo gets burned out. The second one is burning itself out right now. And the queen manages to take the town hall out for that second star. Once again, another two-star. Who's enjoying this? 
quite a bit of fun, and I'm waiting really patiently here. Now I invis in order to save the queen, and I manage to take out 63, 64% of the base before I go down. So 800,000 loot won here. Not as much Dark Elixir, but a hell of a lot of loot in total, and eight more trophies. Stay tuned for the next one, guys, and of course, I will see you very soon. Peace.